Uh, so earlier today I found a new glitch uh, which will allow us to kill Bertram faster. And it's a, it's a lot more consistent than the other way I was trying to do this fight before. I tried to speed on it which was super risky and really difficult to pull off. I've literally never pulled off that strat perfectly. I've only done like three quarters of it. But essentially we're going to head after we finish the stealth section and which is going to come back and we're going to get five cans. That's probably how many you get in a run. Because you'll need four, but you'll also get a backup can. And if you need to, you can just go around and get all the other ones. Don't mind wasting about 10 seconds. Grab a few extra. We're going to take these cans of us to Bertram. And if you've seen the new uh, Boris strats, you'll know that cannons um, act as weapons and are able to deal damage. So whilst this is loading, we're going to come in here, we're going to sprint and jump to the side, and that will allow us to get hit by Bertram's arm. I'm going to come up here, I'm going to get right up against it, and we're going to throw the cannon, and that will destroy the bolt. I'm going to do that to all uh, four bolts on this arm. Ideally, as fast as you can. Look at that. See, that destroys the arm. Actually, it starts to make it. Uh, now, as you see, this starts the fight. It also means you destroy the arm before having to wait for all of the dialogue. You also see, the arms are a little bit broken. I eat they're not working properly. Yes, yeah, so this pretty much breaks um the, how the boss functions. So actually you see it's like trying to enact both the start turn cycle and the cycle's already started. So you see, it didn't even hit the uh thing. Already had the axe. As you can see, um, yeah, these two aren't meant to be the ones that are down. I quickly get to the side, I don't want to die here. But as you can see, essentially, we, had, we skipped having to wait for one. And also, we've kind of broken the AI. So you see, it's trying to break the arms at two separate points because it's trying to run both like the startup script and like the current script of the boss fight. So like, optimally, you could like finish the boss really quickly, but I currently don't know like the good patterns yet. The arms. Hang on, how do we get onto this one? I don't think you can do that anymore. We'll just do this strat then. As you see, that makes things a little bit easier than how we used to do them. So yeah, that's what you'd usually do. That's like the new strat. This opens this up. Of course. Of course, that allows us to break an arm uh, during the opening thing, so we can essentially skip out a couple of cycles. Also, we break the AI, so it's easier to uh, do the other arms, because um, they're all sequenced out of order. Because the game gets confused of which arm's which. Uh, but I'm also sure of the rest of the chapter, because Boris is different now. So we're going to hit the switch, we're going to do Projectionist. Which isn't that hard of a section, it's really short. Well, it also depends what you do here. This is a mate a mini tutorial. So here you can either kind of wait here for him to walk past, which of course wastes quite a bit of time. Or if you're a little bit more confident, you can just let him hit you once. As long as you keep jumping, you should be able to regen all your health in time. Sometimes you can't, sometimes also you avoid getting damage there. Because the projectors will also do the animation where we like 
hulks out when you hit switch, because that's meant to be the original point where he's meant to see you. He's like, oh, you've, he knows where you are now. So that also gives you a little extra run time. Yeah, this section's uh, the, probably the easiest. I haven't actually looked into this yet, this is what I theorised. So the cans do respawn, so um, after we hit this switch, sorry, and this one, um, the cans on top of the barrel should have respawned. Hope. Yep. So we can come back here at the end of the chapter, we can grab these three cans. Th these shots are a lot easier to, to make, so you, know, you don't need to go get any backups. Believe it or not, these cans also keep with you all the way to the end of the chapter. And it also turns out that forests can be damaged by them. My original plan was to use eight cans on the Birch and Fine to hit two arms, but I realised you may as well just do the one and then get the axe. Because it's just not worth it. So it would waste time by having to run around and grab the extra cans from the other side of the room. So this allows us to cut out one cycle of the Boris fight. It also means we don't have to worry. Um, we don't have to worry about all of his cycles and things. Also, the weapon's going to be a little bit tedious. A little bit... Uh, they can mess you up quite badly. And this cuts out having the stress of like... Where the uh, it, it, it cuts out having like wait for that loud enemy that sound. Um, it cuts out having to wait. Yeah, well, one cycle to start, and it also means that um, sometimes the weapon be kind of hard to pick up because Boros would be constantly following you. And it would be a real risk of dying, slash getting knocked back away from the weapon. And then in some cases, you wouldn't be able to pick up the weapon quick enough, and you'd miss a cycle. But this just makes the whole fight so much easier, and a tiny bit quicker as well. I still, of course, have to work and refine the Bertram fight. Because I can, of course, work out which arms drop in which order, according yeah. to the new cycle, because the cycle's broken. So then I can uh, predict and I'll work out what to do. I'll just let you watch this fight though. and run through as much debris at the front as possible. Because when it comes to him throwing the cards, um, there'll be less stuff that he has to punch, slash nothing he has to punch. See, when he, as soon as it comes out the front camp, I'm done. He will constantly running away from him. That's what um, entices him to do a slam attack. Because she's being far enough away. Because she needs to do three slam attacks. in this corner. 
How do I get knocked back away from him? Unfortunately, I have Iron Man's face. You should really bring him to this corner over here or have him in another room so he doesn't punch the stuff. Give a little time. Also, you might want to get him to get rid of his couch. Just so you have a little bit of space to dodge these. So I like to just hold a direction and jump. I bet that's the best way to uh, dodge him. So you stand over like here. As he gets close, you just pop and jump. And I, I find that you dodge him no matter what. Because gonna hold A, jump. I think it, I only, I only even use A. I tried to use B once it didn't work. But there you go. So that's the fast way to do the second half of chapter 4.